you have the ability to affect every single one of these items. And whichever one you can Genetics is number one. Genius. But some people will say, well, I can't affect my genes. Well, have you ever heard about something called epigenetics? Which Hold on. Above your genetics? Stop. Those are all... Hey, guys. Thais and I have been speaking about these epigenetics for a while and about the genetics. And that is, people don't understand the power, the empowerment, the process of development of a particular breed that starts from a particular breeding is, is, a, is this process is very scientific, okay? So let's say when we started back into the, in 1990, those dogs that we started with, once I started buying the dogs in 1992, 93, 94, 95, and the semen and so, so forth, we developed a process of epigenetics where we made these dogs better. And the genetics change because of the, our participation into the development of the dogs. And that's area number one. Area number two is once we change all those dogs, we select the best dogs out of those dogs and created, created a separate brand new gene pool that is unique that nobody else had because we did the work. And so everyone that calls himself a breeder, if they don't do anything for it, they are also building their own gene pool that is completely disarray, a disorder. And if someone does something bad for a dog, those epigenetics are gonna change those genetics. That's why we tell people, and I, I remember when I started, I was teaching this to Thais, if someone takes a dog and uh, start training the dog for human aggression with the pretense of, I'm training the dog for human protection. Well, human protection means is attacking another human. Those puppies are gonna have the predisposition to have human aggression to other people that are also not uh, bandits or someone that's trying to rob somebody to protect. And when you have a dog that does very good protection work or very, you know, some of those puppies might go to become younger dogs, very aggressive dogs. And they mix those dogs with then mastiffs and other things and they still call them pit bulls. They never drop the name. They are in love with the name APVT Pitbull. And they continue to carry that name Pitbull for longer and longer process. And they create new epigenetics that change the genetics. That's why the old timers, they never bred to the quitters because the quitters in a fight will have now the epigenetics that impact the negative, the emotional impact of quitting. And that's what they say, once they quit, they will quit again even faster because that experience, that emotional trauma will make the dog weaker and the genetics will become weaker as well. That's why sometimes a dog was a very good producer before he quit. And once he quit, he was producing a different type of dogs. So there's a lot of understanding and a lot of knowledge and understand that your opinion, if it's not an expert opinion based on uh, great work that you have done, your footprint in the breed, Merit. your opinion's merits, your opinion is only an opinion that doesn't have the quality of knowledge, the quality of uh, 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 verify uh, winning a journey and so on and so forth. So we make these videos to teach those people that are still forming their own ideas. So here we go. This doctor talking about human beings, about how genetics can be changed through the process of epigenetics. Epigenetics is development, environment. trauma, environment, and so on and so forth. So let's say you have a litter of puppies and one man develops this puppy to become a great dog, that becomes a great dog. Uh, so the genetics are important, but then the epigenetics are important. Somebody else take the dog and abuse the dog since he's a little puppy because the person hates the breeder, for instance, develops the dog to become something that is undesirable. But it's up to the owner, up to you, to make sure that you have some understanding of what is the right practices as a dog owner to develop the right proper epigenetics. So you as a brand new dog owner have the responsibility to develop those epigenetics. Now, once you are going in the right path, two dogs 
that are having the same epigenetics experiences or training or processes, the one that has the best genetics is going to be the superior dog. And that's why the phrase of nothing be genetics, because we're going the same path of epigenetics, which is the development of the dogs. And it's unbelievable. I can talk for days about this. I'm trying to make this as short as possible. I got Thais breathing down my neck to make it shorter for you guys. Uh, she's not doing that, by the way, but I just want you to know that. So God bless you. I hope this adds value to you. The people that don't have IQ, don't have the culture of understanding. They like to have short content. They, they see videos that are three seconds and then they leave. Those guys will never understand because the only way you can enrich your mind is by studying, learning from the proper source. Proper source. Define that. 